Rob Thomas made his mark on the music scene more than two decades ago as the lead singer for Matchbox 20. Their songs like Bent, Unwell, and If You're Gone were the soundtrack for our Guilty, but he's incredibly relatable too. This is me dusting off the dog hair from his last stop. Sorry, you don't mind if I... Uh... Yeah, of course. I got puppy on me. The last place we were at had puppies. Aww. The artist was in Seattle performing his newest solo hit on the Star 101.5 Star Stage. Without further ado, Rob Thomas. That's right. I'm not afraid of getting old. I'm one less day from dying young. And I see the light. Go past my shoulder, I'm one less day from dying young. I see the light. Okay, tell us about One Less Day. You know, there's a lot of songs that are about staying young forever, you know, and about people never want to grow old. And I think you start to realize that the alternative to growing old is pretty bleak. I see my life. It's, it's a privilege that's not afforded to everyone. And um, this is a song about realizing that and wanting to, to continue to live every day. Well, I love it. And we were all watching your video around the Seattle Refined offices, and we had a question. How did you get out from all those candles afterwards? Like this. <laughs> Seriously, just a lot of this. One Less Day is the first single from Rob's new album. He'll be playing it on tour this summer. Okay, Chip Tooth Smile. Mm -hmm. Greatest name ever. Oh, Where'd nice. it come from? Um, I have a little chip tooth. You do? Uh -huh. Oh, oh yeah. And it He's used to be chip. it used to be really big. And uh, when I first met my wife, I got some dental work done, but she told me I can never fix my chip tooth smile because she said it was part of my personality. So she always made me keep it. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, I thought so. She's a good one. She is a good one. Yeah. Marisol, right? Marisol, yeah. And speaking of Marisol, Marisol, Marisol you and she have a foundation, mm -hmm. Sidewalk Angels. Angels. Yep, Sidewalk Angels Foundation. Uh, we have been helping uh, kind of get awareness and to no-kill shelters all around the world and, and, and these people that need critical funds at certain times and help them get off the ground, get running. You guys have a rescue or two yourselves? We do. Our two dogs are, we have a puppy mill rescue and then a rescue uh, from the beaches of Puerto Rico. Oh, and yeah. they're adorable. Oh, they're everything. Yeah, they run. They're, they're horribly behaved, <laughs> you know, but they're good dogs. As for the future, we may be seeing more of Matchbox 20 soon. Next year is 2020, so I've been, we've been talking with the guys in Matchbox about wanting to do something. We've never really not been a band. We're just not playing together right this second, but we, we're still, you know, we're still brothers and we still can't wait to get back on the road again. And you've done a lot of collaborations with some amazing artists. If you could collaborate with any artist, living or dead, who, who would it be? Well, you know, the answer was always Willie Nelson, and I got to do that. I got to write for him, like, three songs for his, for his record and hang out and spend time with him. And, and so the, I, I think it would be greedy to ask for anything else other than that. Let it roll right off your shoulder. Don't Rob's you know? fans sing his praises. This is my fourth time seeing him. I am a super fan. You actually got to talk to Rob. I mean, what did that mean to you? I'm pretty happy with Rob. Making music and making a difference. Rob Thomas is filled with gratitude for all of it. All my life I have been wondering, burning up my candle like my time just won't end. And I'll keep burning till there's nothing left. Praying that tomorrow I can do it all again. And if I get tomorrow, I will do it all again, cause I'm not afraid. Malia Karlinski, Seattle Refined.